So this is just going to be a quick little video about how to debug a script. So most of the time you're not going to get a fully formed script. You're going to have to write it yourself. And one common experience that people have when they're starting out is they'll do everything at once. They'll write the whole script and then they'll just run it and get an error and have no idea what to do. So this is just a little video on some tips and tricks on how to deal with that problem. So I've introduced at least one error in here. I've actually introduced one that's going to crash everything if I did it right. So I'm going to do the command A, command enter method. So I've selected everything with command A, and now I'm going to hit command enter to run it in the console. So I'm getting a lot of red. My first tip is don't panic. Red is your friend, and that red will usually tell you what you did wrong. So let's see what does red have to say. And you're going to, you can already see there's a very common theme here. Object ratings not found. Object ratings not found. Object ratings not found. So it doesn't look like there's anything necessarily wrong with any of the things I did here. It just can't find whatever ratings is. So if I know that's the problem, you should go find where did I create ratings? So it might be that you forgot and you have to actually create ratings. Maybe you changed the name of ratings to new ratings and forgot to change that everywhere else. That happens a lot when you're editing a script. In this case though, if you come up here, it looks like I'm trying to do it. What's it saying though? Cannot open the connection cannot open this file, no such file directory. Okay, so it looks like I tried to create this, but maybe it can't find the file. So one problem could be that it, maybe it's not in your current working directory. So one way to check that would just be to use your list.files command, hit enter. What is in your working directory? Well, here's the thing I was trying to open. So that's not the problem, it does exist. The next most likely problem is that you probably gave it the wrong name. And actually, so read.table, so this should be the name of the file and it should exactly match what's in my working directory. And you can see it doesn't. I typed it in wrong. So if that was the problem that I just typed this in wrong, now everything should work, right? So one way, great way to test this is to just select the new thing and hit enter. No, I still did it wrong. Oh no. Ah, it's still typed wrong. This is why you check things. So one great thing about the command enter method is you can select little bits and do it again. So I meant to actually fix that and I didn't. Let's try that again. So select this line, command enter. It didn't yell at me. Hooray. Let's check ls to see if it's on the workspace. It is. Great. So that looks like what happened. I just typed it in wrong multiple times. Another common problem is actually, let me show you what happened. So now that I fixed it, let me go break it again. So I just actually reintroduced the same error. I, I mistyped in stats. Do you think it'll work? Let's see. How did it work? We just said it. I did the same thing. How did it work? One thing to keep in mind when you're debugging, it's great to do these things where you pop in a single line and see if it, you can get it to work. However, all that work you're doing, like, so here I got it to actually work and this line, and then I actually checked if it was on the workspace. Running a script doesn't flush out your workspace. So because I had ratings in here, I did it right one time, it has ratings from the time I ran it right. So what am I trying to show you here? Lesson learned, whenever you're about to run a complete script and you want to see if it'll work on its own, clear your workspace. So now you can see there's nothing on my workspace because I just cleared it. So now let's see what happens if I try to run it. It shouldn't run, right? Because I did it wrong. And it doesn't. So the takeaway from this video is for debugging, it's great to go line by line. I recommend it. If you try to run the whole thing at once, you might get an error. Don't freak out. Just go through your error messages. See if maybe there was just one little problem that would fix it. One other thing you can always do is to try to, um, you can either paste your error message to the forums or just paste it in Google. That's how I learn a lot of things. Just keep in mind that if you don't clear your workspace before running your script in its entirety, you might get results you don't expect because there are things on your workspace that you didn't clear out. So clear out your workspace before you run a script because your goal in writing a script is that it's a self-contained thing that can just go. So that's the end of the planned R tutorials. I can add more as necessary, but right now I'm not planning on it. We'll see how the semester goes and good luck.